Hello students, today we will study the new chapter mean value theorem. In this theorem, we will study two topics that is Rose theorem and Lagrange's mean value theorem. Actually before Rose, there was a mathematician, he was Indian, Bhaskar II, he stated Rose theorem in 12th century AD, just after 4 to 500 years, then Mr. Roll came, he was French mathematician and he stated about Rose theorem. And then after came Lagrange, he was Italian mathematician and then he delivered the Lagrange's mean value theorem. Actually, in both the theorem, we are studying about mean value theorem. Mean value as by the word this is clear that is average and that is why both the theorems are related to the average. Now you can try to understand here first of all Mr. Roll delivered this. In this you can see if there is a curve fx In this curve, if there are two endpoints A and B in such a way that Y coordinate that is ordinate are equal, FA is equal to FB, then there are two values A and B. If A and B are two values on abscess R, that is x value and for these two values the y coordinate that is fa and fb is equal then by rule rule told that there exists at least one point in between a and b where the tangent drawn will be parallel to the x axis okay now you just try to understand the meaning of tangent you already studied in class 10 that if we are given any curve and if we draw a tangent at any point of the curve then this tangent will make the angle phi and then this side is equal to dy by dx is equal to slope of the tangent. This value is slope of the tangent and here also you can see if we draw a line which is parallel to the end points of the chord that is for this you can see that slope of the tangent is 0 and as you know that slope of tangent is the angle which this tangent is making with the positive direction of x axis. See this value. And this psi can be changed as 90 degree, 0 degree, whatever. But in this case, this tangent is parallel to the x axis. So dy by dx is equal to tan psi that is 0. Okay. Now, rule states that if we are given any curve which is continuous in closed interval and derivable in open interval a to b then and fa is equal to fb for any two points a and b in x fa is equal to fb then there exists at least one point c where f dash c is equal to 0. Now, with just after rule, Lagrange's came and he was the Italian mathematics and he has seen that, he had seen that here, if the curve is changed in this way, that is we are not getting any point where the tangent is parallel to the x-axis, then tangent is the slope of this line. 
slope of this line. See, this is the slope. In this figure also you can see that this is the curve and there are two end points that is this will be taken as chord and then for two different points A and B on X axis there exists at least one real number C where tangent is making this slope alpha and how can we find slope you just try to understand this from this figure or this figure or from this figure you can see that tan of alpha is equal to bm upon am because perpendicular upon base and what is this this value is fb and this value is fy fa on y axis and here this is a and this is b on x axis so this value is b minus a or this is equal because of being parallel this is b minus a so bm is equal to fb minus fa so what is the slope of this line tan psi is equal to fb minus fa upon b minus a and so uh, there exists at least one point c where this will exist so f dash c is equal to fb minus fa upon b minus a and this is you can see that this is the average value you can take the example suppose this is taken as time and this is the this fb and fa is taken as distance or then fb minus fa is the distance covered in between the time factor b minus a and so distance upon time will be taken speed and this way we can calculate the speed of any object which is moving on this curve or we can count the speedometer also now we are going to solve with the help of this concept few problems related to rose theorem and mean value theorem first question verify rose theorem for the following function you are given the function fx is equal to x square minus x minus 6 in the closed interval minus 2, 3. Now what are the conditions of Rose theorem? There are three conditions that is the given function should be continuous in the closed interval, derivable in the open interval and the value of the function at both the end points are equal then there exists at least one real number c for which f dash c is equal to zero now as we know that any function with any polynomial function is continuous and derivable for all real values of x and this need not to prove you for the question of rose theorem you just write the statement that we know that every polynomial is continuous and derivable for all real value x and the value of the function at both the end points minus 2 and 3 you just substitute the value in the given function you are getting 0 and 0 you can see both the values are equal then according to Rose theorem there exists at least one real number c in the open interval such that f dash c is equal to 0. Now you just differentiate fx 2x minus 1 substitute for c and you are getting c is equal to 1 by 2 and you can see this 1 by 2 is in between the open interval minus 2 and 3 and this should be for the verification of Rho's theorem. This is your answer. Now second question. In this question you are given the function in the form x minus 2 within one bracket within another bracket x minus 3 within another bracket x minus 4. Now just simply find this we are getting fx is equal to x cube minus 9x square plus 26x minus 24. Again as we have done in 
the last question here also you can see that this is a polynomial and we know that every polynomial is continuous in the closed interval and differentiable in the open interval and find out the value of the function at n points this is f2 substituting the value you are getting 0 f4 again you are getting 0 since both the values are equal means all the three conditions of Rose theorem is satisfied then there exists at least one real number c such that f dash c is equal to 0 now what what we do we just write the function x cube minus 9x square plus 26x minus 24 just differentiate this function and you are getting this value you can see that you cannot easily factorize this function this quadratic equation by splitting middle terms and that is why for simplification 3c square minus 18c plus 26 is equal to 0 we will use Sridharachar that is minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac upon 2a after substituting the values we are getting 3 plus minus 1 upon root 3 but since 1 upon root 3 is in the form of decimal I think 0 0.5 like that and then both the values while taking positive or negative will lie in the open interval 2 to 4 it means both values lies here and this way Rose theorem satisfied now next question now in this question verify Lagrange's mean value theorem for the following function fx is equal to x within bracket x minus 2 in the closed interval 1 2 now Simplifying, we are getting fx is equal to x square minus 2x and this is obvious that being polynomial, it is continuous in the closed interval 1, 2 and derivable in the open interval 1, 2 and that is why find out f dash x is equal to 2x minus 2 on differentiating x square minus 2x then by mean value theorem there exists at least one real number c in the interval a b as f dash c is equal to f b minus f a upon b minus a on substituting this value f dash c we are getting 2 c minus 2 and this is f 2 minus f 1 upon 2 minus 1 on substituting this value we are getting 1 or transposing here we are getting here 2c is equal to 3 or c is equal to 3 by 2 and this value lie in the interval 1 2 and so the theorem is verified now next question this is different type of question in this question you are already given the condition of mean value theorem as find the value of c if you are given that f dash c is equal to f6 minus f4 upon 6 minus 4 this is the condition of Lagrange's mean value theorem where the function is given in the form root x plus 2 where c lies in the open interval 4 to 6 now what we do in this question we have to find out the value of c now just differentiate fx is equal to root x plus 2 this is f dash x is equal to 1 by 2 into x plus 2 to the power minus 1 by 2 substituting the value c because ultimately we have to find out f dash c with the help of the given condition so 1 upon 2 c plus 2 this and then after substituting this is f6 means this value at 6 root 8 this value at 4 root 6 upon 8 minus 6 then after substituting this value we are getting this value and then 1 upon root c by 2 c plus 2 can be rewritten as 1 upon this 1 upon this that is root c plus 2 and this will be changed in the denominator then after rationalizing the denominator by multiplying with its conjugate in numerator and denominator we are getting this value 
then squaring both sides c plus 2 is equal to on simplification 14 plus 8 root 3 upon 4 and on transposing 2 on this side and taking LCM we are getting the value of C is 3 plus 4 root 3 upon 2. This is the answer. Now next question. In this question you are given the function fx is equal to x within bracket 1 minus log x x greater than 0. For this function we have to verify Lagrange's mean value theorem. Now as we know that any logarithm function is continuous in the open interval this 0 to infinity and that is why you are given the value x greater than 0 in the question and this is derivable also then finding the value fa just, just substitute the value at x and fb then f dash x differentiation of this differential of first function into second function plus differential of second function into first function then 1 minus this this is cancelled and you are getting minus log x on substituting the value x is equal to c then f dash c is equal to fb minus fa upon b minus a this is minus log c is equal to b within bracket 1 minus log b minus a within bracket 1 minus log a upon b minus a then cross multiply and then you can get here what we are going to prove a minus b within bracket log x log c is equal to b within bracket 1 minus log b minus a within bracket 1 minus log a this is what we have to prove now this is all possible types of questions from Rose theorem and Lagrange's mean value theorem. Now you can find some of the good questions from this exercise on website which is given. Thank you.